Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki, and you might have noticed that I haven't been posting a lot of content on my channel, and it has been more than a week since my last upload. But there was a reason behind it. I'm currently working on a crypto cum blockchain project for which we are building a lot of products, and for this, I travelled to Bangalore for nine to ten days. This was actually my first ever business trip and my first time visiting Bangalore as well. By the way, if you don't know this, Bangalore is the IT hub of India, and you'll see it quite often being compared with Silicon Valley itself. To be honest, I was quite nervous to be doing this because I had never thought I'd be a part of something this big at 19. But nonetheless, the trip was quite amazing. I met a lot of people over there, a lot of investors, learned how to pitch your product to them, made a lot of connections, and did so many other things as well in these nine to ten days. And in this video, I'll try to tell you all about it from the start. So on this channel, I've been making a lot of videos on crypto and blockchain, and through that, a person contacted me to partner up with their team and be the chief technology officer, that is the CTO for their crypto venture. Now this was nothing new to me. There are a lot of scam projects in the crypto space, just looking for a person who can develop their own cryptocurrency. And I first thought it was something on these lines as well, and they would just do a rug pull. So I did dig around, made sure that this was not a scam project, and only after that I talked about what he wanted me to do exactly, was the vision of the project, and so on. I instantly loved what they were trying to do and was ready to start my journey with them. But before that, I wanted to meet them in person because you can't really judge a person on a call. So yeah, they flew down to Bombay. We met and chatted for a long time, and I finally was in for it. Now before this, I used to do a lot of freelance work. But of course, I didn't have any responsibility over my shoulders, and it was entirely on me if I wanted to do the work or not. Now everything was going great. It had been close to two months that I was working on this project, and that's where we decided that I'll fly down to Bangalore and meet the entire team, meet the investors, see our office space, and so on. And that's exactly where the journey for my first business trip started. <laughs> Now this was the first time for me traveling this far and that too alone. I did all of my packings the day before I was about to leave, and I was quite excited about it. And then the day finally came. I took all the luggage, went to the airport, and by the way, we had to actually submit an RT-PCR report, which is a COVID test report if you want to get on a flight. So just remember this: the next time you fly from Maharashtra or Kerala, you need a COVID test report done. But anyway, I landed in Bangalore, and I got to know that the airport is actually outside the main city, which was quite weird because we had to travel for over an hour just to reach the inner part of the city from there. On the way, I saw a lot of tech parks, and these tech parks essentially host a number of IT companies in them. So there'll be like huge campuses filled with just offices of these companies and startups. No wonder Bangalore is called the IT capital of India. And then we were finally at the hotel where my booking was made. It was actually an entire suite, and only I was going to be living over there. Let me actually show you what I mean. So this is the entire place. Um, this is the kitchen area, um, a small mini bar as well. Um, after that, uh, this is the living area. And uh, this is a hotel. So, yeah, quite an amazing place. And then let's look at each of the rooms. 
so that over there is the guest washroom uh, that is the first bedroom uh, where i was recording and uh, this is the second bedroom so let's just go over here first so this is the first uh, balcony beautiful place um it's quite messy right now and this is the guest bathroom let me just show it to you so yeah nothing much to see over here and then this is where i was recording i was recording right over here And then this is the second uh, balcony. So throughout my stay I met a lot of investors we pitched our project out to them and I learned a lot through it as well one thing that I noticed over there was the people in Bangalore are very welcoming and collaborative in nature this was actually quite visible for me especially because I've grown up in Mumbai which is the most competitive city that you'll ever see in India and Bangalore on the other hand is more towards collaboration rather than competition apart from that i was absolutely in love with the food over there even though bangalore doesn't have a lot of places to visit other than its beautiful parks it's rich in terms of people and food you will find people from all over india working there as a team and as far as the food goes i don't think i need to say much about it we still did visit a few places like the time we went for lunch and were actually sitting right next to vijay malia's ub building which of course is now with the banks now beautiful Now apart from the food and places I visited in Bangalore let's also talk about what we are actually building and what our company really does So the company's name is Maximum and it's a completely blockchain based venture. I'm currently developing the products for it and as soon as we are up for a public release I'll make sure that I talk about them on this channel as well because of course I've built them. So stay tuned for it and if you're still watching this video that means you've liked it so please press the like button subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more such updates.